Hello, so this is something of my first vlog, I guess. I wanted to give people a channel update, starting with some good news. We recently passed 5,000 subscribers. I've got a special video planned for it, but it's been delayed and I'll explain in a bit. So, a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed. I'm honoured that so many people find these videos helpful. As you've probably all noticed, videos have stopped recently. This has been owing to ill health as a result of hay fever making it very difficult for me to record voiceover, but also unfortunately my main computer has stopped working. The recent heat wave and keeping my windows shut to avoid the pollen has put too much strain on my old power supply and it has failed. It appears to have toasted my motherboard, possibly CPU as well, so I'm looking at building a new computer. I've spent a lot of time troubleshooting, testing and trying to figure out what I can salvage. This means that I've got to organise replacement parts and then build a new system along with recover what I can from the previous machine. Needless to say, this is a fairly big undertaking. In the meantime, there have been some serious updates to DCS. The majority of changes that have been in the beta branch have now been pushed onto the stable build. These include things such as the Harry Moving Map, Persian Golf and Hornet modules. We've also had many updates from Matt Wagner on what's coming soon for the Hornet. Most notably, we're going to see an improvement in the canister munitions such as the Mark 20 and CBU-99. They'll be getting accuracy corrections for CCIP and CCRP, and they will enable the use of the height of burst function to control the spread size of our weapons. Overwing vapors are getting added, the radar will lock things quicker. Bug fixes such as being unable to select air-to-ground weapons after selecting the AIM-7 will be corrected, and the RWR threat ring logic will be changed to show critical threats on the inside ring, matching what the manual shows. I'll leave a link to the updates in the description if you wish to read them in full. So until I've got my system up and running, take care.